This tutorial will show you how to create a secured party group on the Personal Property Securities Register. You need to create a secured party group before you perform any registrations on the PPSR. In fact, you will need your secured party group number every time you deal with the PPSR. Remember, the secured party is your organisation. Go to the PPSR website www.ppsr.gov.au Select PPSR Login Hover over the Secured Party Group tab and select Create Secured Party Group. Scroll down and select Create Group in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Select Create a new secured party group and then click Next. You will then need to enter your organisation's details. If you are a sole trader, select Individual. Otherwise, select Organisation as the secured party. In this example, we will select Organisation. You are then asked if your organisation has an ARSN. ARSN stands for Australian Registered Scheme Number. It is unlikely your organisation has an ARSN, so the most likely response is no. You are then asked if your organisation has an ACN, or Australian Company Number. In this example, we are selecting yes. Enter your organisation's ACN in the box provided. You can then select Verify, to check the number you have entered against ASIC's registers, your organisation's name should appear. If it doesn't, re-enter your identifier. You may have made a mistake. Now enter your contact details. We recommend you use a generic email address, as this will continue with the organisation irrespective of who continues to work there. You could enter another secured party here, by clicking Add Another Secured Party. Where you conduct your business through a trust, we suggest you enter both the trustee and its ACN and the trust and its ABN. We are not adding another secured party in this example and will simply click Next. Select the address details for your organisation by clicking on the arrow next to the drop-down box where it says Use a secured party's details in the address for service. Click on your organisation's ACN and then click Use Details. Your organisation's address details should appear in the fields below. Then click Next. You now have the option of selecting your preferences. You can make this group a favourite for this account and you can set this secured party group as your default. In this example, we will set this secured party group as our default. Then click Next. You should now review the information you have entered. You can make any changes by using the relevant edit buttons. Once you are happy with all of the information, click Save. You have now created your secured party group and will be provided with your secured party group number immediately. An email containing the secured party group number and secured party group access code will also be sent. Make sure you store this email in a secure location as you will need these numbers for future dealings with the PPSR. You are now ready to create a secured party group on the Personal Property Securities Register. For further guidance on the PPSA, go to ppsamadeeasy.com.au.